I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Wednesday, August 5th, is found in Matthew, the 15th chapter, verses 32 to 39. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion on the crowd, because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I am unwilling to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. And the disciples said to him, Where are we to get bread enough in the desert to feed so great a crowd? And Jesus said to them, How many loaves have you? They said, Seven, and a few small fish. And commanding the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up seven baskets full of the broken pieces left over. Those who ate were four thousand men, besides women and children. And sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadha. The word of the Lord. A message of inclusiveness. Those who had eaten were 4,000 men besides women and children, verse 38. When my husband and I joined a church in Seattle, in a Seattle suburb, I was impressed by the congregation in inclusivity. Any baptized and confirmed member, regardless of age or gender, could vote at a congregational meeting and was welcome to help with the worship service as an usher, assisting minister, or communion servant. What's more, we had women pastors. Something completely new to me as I had grown up in a church where women could have no formal role in the worship. While I was teaching Sunday school, the focus of one lesson was on Jesus' miracle of using so little food to feed such a large crowd, 4,000. But that number only accounted for the men. Jesus performed another blessing. In a patriarchal, patriarchal society, Jesus had compassion for and served women and children. Two, the gospel reveals the inclusive nature of Jesus' ministry. All are welcome, and his compassion extends to all. Let us pray. Jesus, our Savior, help us spread the good news of this inclusiveness of your kingdom. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.